Hey guys, it's Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always. So I'm just going to get right into it and talk to you about the Daybell Vallow case. As you can see, Lori Vallow in court doesn't seem as smiley as she used to be, although still smug. We know now that the kids have been found. Sadly, they are dead and it was a gruesome situation. And we know that these three people are likely to blame. So Lori has recently had a hearing and interestingly, it looks like, is, is she maybe crying? Does she have feelings? I hope she's crying because she should be in tears all the time. I've done one video about this just recently when the bodies were originally discovered and I had some opinions I wanted to throw out after we learned a little bit more information. So if you've seen my previous video, and by the way, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can check it out if you haven't seen it already or check it out again and like it, subscribe and share it please. And let me know what you think. So I, briefly talked about how they had found the bodies of Lori Vallow's children, which was extremely sad. I personally was surprised that they were found in Chad Daybell's backyard because like several other people, I think, I expected that they weren't going to be found because they were probably killed or at least left at Yellowstone National Park where they had last been seen. Although Tylee hadn't been seen for a little bit longer than JJ, who I believe was last seen at, in person at his school right before uh, Lori took him out because she said she was going to homeschool him, which is so sad because we know that she took him out not to homeschool him and be a mother to him, but to presumably kill him and Tylee. Tylee was probably already dead at that point. And um, not to digress too much over here, but I think that Tylee was probably killed first because Tylee was acting as a mother, a parent figure to JJ. So they probably felt like they had to get her out of the way because she would have tried to protect him in any way that she could. We've come to learn that Tylee was, her body had been found burnt, but also it had been dismembered. So extremely, extremely disturbing situation. And the fact that we have to assume that these children were killed a long time back, presumably in like September, they were last seen in September. So in that time frame, months and months and months ago, I think September, I think the beginning of the school year, the, ch the kids just got out of school um, recently. And then, you know, these guys were off hanging out in Hawaii, dancing around. Chad Davis playing the ukulele. Lori was all smiles and whatnot, and they were seen at the airport all fine, and it's just unbelievable. And of course, we know that we haven't heard anything from Lori Vallow about this. So she's keeping tight-lipped. A commenter told me that presumably Lori Vallow's lawyer was telling her to basically shut her mouth, which is probably true. I find it crazy. I mean, these people are obviously crazy. We know this. But um, the fact that they would have done this in the yard like they did and the way the, the way Chad Daybell's house and yard is set up, it's almost like no matter where they are, they're almost in a front view for neighbors, it looks like, and even street view. So I can't imagine how they would have done this. Obviously, you're going to do it in the middle of the night, but even still, people could drive by at any time and see this. And it takes such craziness. And if you're doing it in just a regular bonfire, you got like a couple a couple hundred degrees, maybe. Um, it's going to take like 16 hours. And they don't give a shit. It's like carelessness, but they didn't care. And they just went ahead with this, right? Kind of in public One view almost. One of the things now. that I found interesting and sad about this case, among the millions of issues with this case, is it seems that Tylee was killed first, Tylee was dismembered and burned. And then one of the other things that they talked about was that JJ had been found uh, in, a, in another burial spot 
in this circular indent in the in the ground intact a little bit more respectful i mean not particularly but a little bit more respectful obviously than than tylee who they had to spend a lot of time sifting to get all of her remains where she was buried chad daybell referred to as their pet cemetery very unbelievably disrespectful for tylee among everything else that they did to her to then say that she was buried in their pet cemetery. And the reason that this came about was because there was a text from Chad Daybell to his wife at the time, Tammy Daybell, when she was still alive, shortly before presumably she was killed off by him or Lori or whoever they got to do it. So Chad Daybell had sent a text to Tammy supposedly discussing and i'll show you the text saying that he had an eventful day or whatever that he had to kill a raccoon that he found in their yard and bury it in the pet cemetery and basically presumably it would have been because if when tammy came home and saw that the pet cemetery had been interrupted and dug up and whatnot that she would have questioned what happened so he had to come up with a plan on September 9th, 2019, at 11.53 a.m., Chad texts Tammy, his wife of the time, Well, I've had an interesting morning. I felt I should burn all the limb debris by the fire pit before it got too soaked with the coming storms. While I did so, I spotted a big raccoon along the fence. I hurried and got my gun and he was still walking along. I got close enough that one shot did the trick. He is now in our pet cemetery. Fun times. Now this was actually sent 14 minutes after there was a ping from Lori Vallow's brother, Alex Cox. I will discuss that further in a little bit and probably in another video because there's so much to talk about there. The assumption is that that really was Ty Lee that was being buried there, but he needed to give an excuse. So my thought on this is, first of all, that it's extremely disrespectful and horrible towards Ty Lee and the rest of the family that she would have been killed to begin with and then buried in what they would call a pet cemetery. It's just very disturbing. But then on top of that, I would think that with court case, and as stupid as this sounds, they would have to check and see if there's a raccoon in there so that they could prove or disprove his text. Because if they don't find a raccoon in there, they could say, hey, this was around the time frame that she must have been killed and you're making up for it. So therefore you were, you were clearly involved. But if there is a raccoon in there, which obviously there isn't, then that would be a defense towards him, for him that, hey, you know, whatever. As I've said, everybody seemed to make it seem like it was Chad Daybell who was this cult guy who's writing all these books about the end of the world, and he's the one who's talking about it, and then Lori kind of jumped on the bandwagon with him, but now it's coming out that Lori was talking about the end of the world and all this crazy shit, like, years ago, 2012, 2000. She was in Hawaii from 2012 to 2015, I believe, before she even was friendly with Chad Daybell. I don't even think she had met him yet. And she was already talking to people about the end of the world. Ty Lee's friend from Hawaii had said that Lori would always say things like, the world's going to end. Let's just all jump off a cliff together. We should just drive, get in the car and drive off a cliff together because the world's going to end anyway, so let's all go together. And she was always talking about shit like that. And... She was talking about zombies back then, too. Another thing that they talked about that she had said before was she was on the phone with one of her friends telling them years ago that her kids had turned into zombies, basically around the time they stopped behaving. So, I mean, are all kids zombies? Because, I mean, I don't know. I'm... Not to make a joke about it, but her kids stopped, I mean, her kids started misbehaving. It's like, oh, they're zombies. We have to legitimately get rid of them because they're a danger to the world when Jesus walks again. Saying that just sounds so fucking dumb. I just, I'll just move on. 
Lori Vallow had wanted Tylee to babysit JJ and Tylee didn't want to. And so then Lori was like, she's a fucking zombie. Doesn't want to babysit. She's not listening to me. Zombie. And Tylee was in the background saying, no, mom, not me. Which makes me very curious as to whether the children believed in this zombie shit and the end of the world and all that stuff too. I mean, they could have been living with this woman who's telling them they're there's a, this is a thing the end of the world is coming jesus is gonna walk i'm a god you guys might be zombies and watch out because i might kill you i mean we don't know this is some crazy shit i mean it's always been crazy shit but it just keeps getting creepier and creepier and creepier and now there's just this concern that Lori might get away with it chad might get away with it alex Lori vallow's brother who was involved in killing charles vallow and then later died of natural causes, supposedly a heart attack. Again, just like Tammy Daybell had died in her sleep of unknown causes when she was perfectly healthy. She was training for marathons. She was fine. She was young, what have you. They found that Alex, who's no longer with us as well, his phone pinged at each of the burial sites. So now here's the issue. It's gonna, it, it looks like it's, it was Alex that did this to these children, at least burying them, right? Because his phone pinged. That's strange to me on a couple of accounts that would you, why would you take your phone with you? First of all, there's the fact that most people know that you can, that they can ping your phone and they most likely will. They didn't do it in Todd and Melissa's case, which they should, but um, they usually will ping your phone when there's, when they're investigating a crime and think you're involved. So if they found that his phone was at these burial sites, they're going to pinpoint him to these crimes. So it would be stupid to bring your phone with you for that reason. But then also, why would you bring your phone to each site like that anyway? Because I mean, I don't want to get disgusting with the situation, but you wouldn't want it to get all dirty. You wouldn't want to lose it. You wouldn't want, you know, whatever. So, I mean, it's not like he was up in the mountains and he took his phone with him, something like that. You know, this was in the backyard of, I guess, his brother-in-laws or whomever, his freaking cult leader, his his psycho buddy there. Um, it was in the backyard. You could you you would leave your phone in the house. So now does so now what do we think about this? Did Alex do this? Was he framed? That would seem to me like a frame job. I would think that they purposely would have done that to frame him for these murders. And I mean, if you think about it, like Lori clearly used Alex, her brother. She had Alex do the dirty work. She's got bodies piled up like we've talked about before. And Alex, you know, at least killed the husband and then he died now so he can't even talk in defense of himself for in to just to say anything about this story but i really wonder how that's gonna play out but the problem the big problem here is going forward with that and the court case are they gonna get away with this because this is they could possibly get away with all of this they are not linked to these things. Alex, the brother, is linked to Charles Vallow's death. Then he died of natural causes, so supposedly no one killed him. Tammy Daybell, they thought, died of natural causes. They're looking into that now, but are they going to be able to prove it at this point? Because she was immediately cremated, so presumably she was poisoned or something, but now we don't. they, they might not be able to prove anything. Chad Daybell, he could potentially at least be linked because the children are buried in his backyard and they'll find something to relate him to that. But Lori almost seems like the one who might, I think she's the one who's in charge and to blame for all of this. And she's like this crazy bitch controlling this cult and taking over and running shit and telling these guys what to do for her to satisfy what she wants to get done and her hands are clean of it in the eye of the court system and the proof. There's not evidence to put her there. There's not, as far as I know so far, there's not evidence to put her there. Is she going to get away with this? 
She's the only, and she's in jail just because she wouldn't say where her kids are. So, okay, so she's, what, she's going to get child neglect. Um, they can, you know, get her potentially for child neglect. But as far as any of these murders go, how can they put the blame on her yet? They're going to have to really try to find some evidence against her. And Chad Daybell, yeah, he got arrested for concealing bodies, burying these bodies potentially. But now they're saying, you know, Alex... And it was Alex's phone that pinged at these sites. They might end up having to. It might look more like Alex did did all of this than both Lori and Chad, who seem to be the the horrible people in this case. Obviously, so I'm concerned. I'm concerned that they're not gonna be able to convict either of them, but particularly Lori Vallow, who is just evil. I mean, is she just this evil genius and that's why she's been walking around all smiles and shit with her little demon eyes, those black fucking eyes? I saw, you know, earlier on when they were walking, I think in Hawaii, and there somebody was running up behind them trying to question them and saying, where are your kids? Everybody's praying for your kids, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, that's good. And they were like, so you don't give a shit? And she just smiled. Because maybe she knows she's already got this in line to make it look like other people did it and not her. Even if we know for a fact that, of course, she's the one who was in charge of this. She's the one who made this happen. If they don't have evidence, the jury might not charge her. I mean, they might not even go to a trial or even put charges on her for this if they can't come up with a solid case. So, I mean, I hope the prosecution can come up with something and find some serious evidence, but I'm thinking she might walk and it could fall on either Chad or it could end up falling on Alex, who's now dead and no one's going to get in trouble for this horrible act of murdering these two innocent children. They might have... Oh pulled off this perfect murder, blaming, they, they, I'm sorry, they might have pulled off perfect murders where even though we all believe that they did it, they have made it look in, with, with regard to evidence and the court system at least, that it was someone else, presumably her brother Alex, and now that he's gone, he can't defeat it and they can't do anything about it. I mean, I think this is going to be a long, drawn-out situation, and I mean, I hope that they get convicted, and I hope they get what's coming to them, but uh, I'm a little nervous about how it's going to go, and if they're going to be able to come up with the evidence for it. Uh, I am interested to see what will happen come July, mid-July, what is it, July 26th, I want to say, something in that vicinity, when the uh, end of the world is supposed to come. Don't we all want to have a camera right in their faces the next day when they're like, why is everybody still alive? What the, what the, Joe, what are you fucking doing here? Shit, why is, why are my cellmates still here? They are not gods. I mean, I can't even imagine. Although, mind you, I actually think that their whole story might be just bullshit to excuse why they're doing this. My kids are laughing. I'm messing up my video, man. But um, we'll have to see what happens next. And it's really disturbing. Lori just seems like the devil. So I'm more interested in seeing her put to death. If they can't find a way to convict her, maybe she'll get shanked. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. I, I also, another thing I heard uh, in a comment from one of my viewers, there was a comment, um, a lot of great comments from this guy that said, uh, oh, what was his name? What was his name? I'm sorry. Crazy Sven. Crazy Sven. You had some great comments about this because I had said that, you know, Lori hasn't said shit since the kids were found. And Crazy Sven commented that uh, supposedly when she found out about this, she went ballistic and like threw everything around in her cell or whatever. So maybe she did freak out. And if that's true and she did freak out, 
then that kind of leads me to believe she maybe does not believe in this end of the world thing happening because if you thought that in a month from now the world was going to end and it and none of this was going to matter you wouldn't be worried which is why I, they seem to be so calm cool and collected but if she's freaking out and throwing shit around maybe she is worried and chad my understanding is that he did try to take off when they started finding stuff in his backyard so again if he's so sure that the world's going to end what would he care i mean i uh, he does look like so the fact that he would be in jail even for a day would probably scare the shit out of him but i don't know do we believe this that they do we think they even believe in this cult thing at this point or is that just an excuse i'm gonna end this now and uh i'll be back once we learn some more information there has been some more information but i just i wanted to quickly talk about this while i you know before i got into some more stuff because there's just so much to talk about with this case that i could just go on and on forever but there's a lot more to talk about and i will be back w about this because this is just a crazy case that um i gotta let you guys know more about although i'm sure you guys know lots of stuff but please comment below if you have information you want to share with everybody and also comment what you think about this case what do you think is going to happen um and what do you think about this video and please i hope you like the video please please click that like button show me some love share the video for me help me out and please subscribe if you haven't already and come back for the next video all right thanks a lot guys have a great day bye